Hi, right, Scorpio. You need to know this right now for June the 18th through June the 19th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for June the 18th through June the 19th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Scorpio for June the 18th through June the 19th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Scorpio for June the 18th through June the 19th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Scorpio. Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So Scorpio, listen, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. Clarify the four of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the four of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the four of wands for Scorpio. It is clear. What the freaking frick? I don't know, Scorpio. We're going to see, okay? <laughs> We're going to see what this is. But, honey, you're stacking. Scorpio, let's see. Scorpio, you have the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation here or there's block communication. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the Eight of Swords. For Scorpio, clarify the Eight of Swords for Scorpio. You're a mystery. It is clarified with the Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up in one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs. A bunch of mind games and manipulation. So Scorpio, listen, you guys may have had this tit for tat tug of war toe to toe going on. Could be some form of mind games and manipulation. Or you're telling me that you're pissed and you have an axe to grind here, Scorpio. Scorpio, you can tell me because of the tit for tat tug of war toe to toe going on, you could have blocked this person. You can tell me because of the mind games and manipulation, Scorpio. I don't know. Did you lock someone out of the house or something? Put some, what, What's going on here? Scorpio, you could be pissing, blocking communication with someone. What is this? Are you off in a cut somewhere? You have the Eight of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text, uh, text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So Scorpio, listen, something could be happening quickly here. This could involve travel. 
You guys could have gotten into a heated discussion or argument throwing fiery dots at one another. Or someone was communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Eight of Wands for Scorpio. <clears throat> it is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama is taking place here. You know, Scorpio, like, are you getting into it with this person? Some type of drama. Some type of heated discussion or argument here. Are you like locking them out, blocking them out? Don't come to my house or what? What is this? Jeez. Uh, you have the page of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea. The news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Scorpio, listen, you could be receiving passionate messages. You could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument here. Clarify the page of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the page of wands for Scorpio. Clarify the page of wands for Scorpio. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. Scorpio, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. Scorpio, are you guys on a break because you found that they were communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else, Scorpio? Or are you guys on a break over this heated discussion or argument that's taking place here? You maybe shouldn't uh, answer your phone or open your door on the 18th or the 19th, Scorpio, at all. Because uh, it's going down here. Scorpio, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Scorpio, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the six of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Scorpio, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Scorpio, you can tell me that something was brought to your attention. You began to recognize something here. And now you're single. You could have found passionate messages and heard the news of them sharing passion. Scorpio, you can tell me that, you know, something is being brought to your attention and you would just rather be single because you guys are getting into this heated discussion or argument. But Scorpio, is it that are you no longer single? Some type of an announcement could be being made here about commitment and someone's coming over to argue with you. Or they're arguing with you because you just want to be single. Just don't answer the phone and don't open your door on the 18th and 19th, Scorpio. Scorpio, 
You need to know this right now for June the 18th through June the 19th, 2023. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.